uh, hopefully you don't miss miss a lot lah. if you miss the class then you need to provide a short course letter okay can you see this um the code is kk04803 information retrieval and also kd lah kd04303 okay so this course um will be teaching you on method used for retrieving information so this is useful when you want to uh, analyze um, unstructured data web page contohnya facebook uh, twitter and many social media platform and of course this can be used for um, retrieving document as well clustering document analyzing sentiment of the text so we will all be uh, this all will be covered in this course okay. so the course objective is to um, provide understanding of the basic concept and technique used for information retrieval so we will learn some of the concept and technique used for information retrieval and also um, at the end of the course you should be able to um, build a document retrieval system in which you can retrieve based on your query okay. so um, this course involves a lot of mathematics um, background in which you will be using them um, but don't worry in the exam you do not have to memorize them because i will provide all those uh, formula for you so you don't have to worry about that one okay and this is the learning outcome um, by the end of the course you should be able to um, explain the basic concept and technique used in ir so if you look at the um, percentage here uh, 25 percent from your marks um, no, 25% uh, from your overall grading will come from your assignment. So this one, you have to take this opportunity. You need to get all this 25% assignment. And oh, um, we have recently changed this one. Huh? Um, we changed to 15 to make it lower because we have a quizzes here. So for your midterm, we only have 15% uh, and quizzes 10%. Okay, so this one will be used to test your basic concept and technique understanding. Um, next one, you should be able to differentiate unsupervised and supervised machine learning. Um, you will feel like, what is this? What is this term? We will uh, cover this one. Um, this one, you will take 10% from your final grade. Okay. You will have a practical lab. And last one is um, you should be able to solve the retrieval process and categorization problem based on what you have studied from week one until week 12. Okay. So this one, 40% from your overall grade will be taken as your final exam. And this is the pembahagian lah. So we have update this one to 10. And your midterm will be 15. Okay, so this is based on the new requirement by MQL. So we are allowed to put more uh, weightage on the quizzes. Okay. Any question? Maybe the soalan. Okay. So this is the book that we'll be using, uh, Modern Information Retrieval, the concept and the technology behind search. And you could also refer to this book. Okay. So for the book that we'll be using, um, this one, the black one, let me change this one. Uh, this book, 
the book present an overall view of research in IR. So we focus on the algorithm and also technique used in information retrieval. Okay. And um, we also look at the um, viewpoint uh, taken by librarian and inf information science researcher. In this one, they are trying to focus on understanding how people interpret and use information. Okay, so we will look into the query, how do we transform them into um, the document or the text that they are looking for. Okay. Any question? No? Let me go back to here, maybe. No question, huh? Sure. Can I proceed? We'll sir, provide the attendance link for HC00. Yes, we have that one. Um, Siapa yang lambat tuh, you can nila. So, okay, can? so can you proceed? Okay, so this is pengenalan lah, pengenalan kepada this course, um, information retrieval. So if you are from HC00, you're taking KK04803. And if you are from HC14, you are taking the um, KD04303, okay? Uh, boleh dengar? Okay, um, so 
to introduce this course, we will look into information retrieval. And the problem that we are trying to address here. And also we look at the system that applying this information retrieval. And also we look at the effect of the uh, web technology that we have at the moment. Okay. So when we talk about IR, uh, we are talking about how do we uh, capture the data and then how we design the data structure of the data and then how do we store the data in the database and then how do we access the information correctly. So if you have taken database, you will have the SQL query. But um, for this one, we, um, for example, if we are storing document or web pages, how do we store them and then how do we retrieve them? So these are the type of information that we are dealing with. Uh, document, uh, email, um, journals, newspaper, and so on. Okay. So the early goal of the IR area is um, we want to index, we want to tag, uh, put the tag ID for this text uh, that we can use to retrieve those information later on uh, through the searching process. Okay. So um, nowadays, uh, if you know the technology that used in IR, uh, they, they include the modeling, web search, text, classification, uh, designing user interface, and also visu visualize the data and filtering and languages. These are some of the uh, research involved in IR. Um, IR started in 50s in which the uh, few researchers, for example, like uh, Han Peter Lern, Eugene Garfield, Philip Bagley, Calvin Moss, they all coined the term information retrieval. So these people have studied how do we store information, unstructured data, and at the same time, we want to be able to retrieve this information from our storage. Um, in 1962, Cyril Cleverdon publi uh, published the Cranfield study on how do we evaluate the retrieve information. Okay, how do we actually say this information is relevant or not relevant with respect to the query? And then we have in 1963, Joseph Becker and Robert Hayes published the first book. So this is the first book uh, on information retrieval. And there are so many techniques used in order to retrieve um, the information. And one of the famous one, one of the common use technique is called uh, TFIDF term weighting scheme, which was introduced by Sultan and the group. Okay, so we will learn how to apply this term frequency, inverse document frequency in um, evaluating our query. So in 1971, um, Rich Virgin introduced cluster hypothesis in which how do we apply clustering in order to group the document. So we perform clustering in order to um, segregate them or separate them based on the topic or based on the content of the document. And then the first SCM CIGR information um, dealing with information was organized in 1978, 79. Um, this book was published. And then in 83, Sultan um, upgraded the proposed technique before, which is this one, TFIDF, to become a vector model and they have this book. So if you Google, you're looking for Sultan and vector model, you will find a lot of example dealing with vector model on how we can use them to retrieve information. Okay, and since then, 
um, the, the libraries were among the first institution to adopt the IR system because when you look at our library at the moment, long time ago, 20 years ago, we like to keep everything in a library. We have physical book, but now we have all in the digital format, um, e-copy of book, e-copy of journal, so easier to store them and retrieve. Okay. So uh, no, normally we use this uh, subject heading or a keyword or query operator, example and or and so on in order to uh, search for certain information okay uh, nowadays the focus has been on improved graphical interface um, how do we design a good interface and then um, all in digital format and we have also the hypertext features in which we can link to another document okay So until recently, IR was an area of interest um, strictly mainly to librarian. Uh, for us in computer science, those people dealing with unstructured data or dealing with analyzing um, social media platform, uh, for example, Facebook, uh, Twitter, and many other social plat uh, platform, they were thinking on how do we harvest the uh, sentiment uh, based on the social media platform uh, on certain issue. So we, are, we in the computer science, we are interested in doing those research. Um, we also look at the, um, the size of the data that we have and then how do we find useful information on the web within a specific time frame you want to have like once you type in the query they give you answer in a few min few milliseconds okay so um i are now become the most exciting area if you look back at our everyday life for example what is the first thing that you look at when you wake up What is the first thing that you do when you wake up? You can tap your answer here. You look for your handphone. You look for what? What's up? And Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Turn off the alarm sleep again okay um just a few days ago uh whatsapp down kan? for six hours kan? whatsapp and facebook so for six hours only facebook lost around six million six billion just six down downtime only and then people start uh, start thinking about um, how do you make use of the WhatsApp and the content from Facebook in order to do your business, like promote your business. You can perform sentiment analysis. You can gather um, what people think about certain issue from WhatsApp. So there was also an issue when we tried to sign up for this one, kan? Uh, WhatsApp agree to sign up with WhatsApp. Most people don't want to sign up. So um, what I want to say is that in our structured data like Facebook or in our WhatsApp or Instagram, a lot of um, goal inside there, a lot of values that we can retrieve, uh, provided that you have the right, um, uh, the right, well, 
you don't simply tap into people um, phone and then access their private uh, text yeah lagi pun jam satu sudah dia down so siapa tidur awal tu tidak perasan lah dia bangun pagi macam tiada apa apa lah okay so I go back to my slide So, for example, uh, if I give you this question, uh, find all documents that address the role of the federal government in financing the operation of National Railroad Transportation Corp Corporation, Amtrak. So, what is the key concept here? What is the key concept here? They, they ask you to find all the documents that address the role of the federal government in financing the operation of Amtrak. Okay. So just imagine that if you type this command in a system and then the system will uh, give you the answer for this one based on the, the document store in the internet. So for us, easier for us to pinpoint what is the uh, main content of this statement, uh, role of federal government in financing this operation. Okay. So um, provided the information that we need, so this is the information that we need. How do we transform them into query? So the query is just simply like when you uh, use Google, you type in your keyword can. So that is the query that you are typing in. Uh, hopefully, uh, your query will uh, can be used to answer the information you, that you needed. For example, for example, uh, if I switch to this. I took Google. Uh. what you want to know is uh, when was your what is the status of Manchester United so if I type Manchester United then they will give the result and also they will give the the Manchester United Football Club but if I say who is do you think Google can can answer for you? Who is this people? Who is Ren Alpha? Okay. So they they will give you this answer and a lot more. Okay. But if you type what is um for your information also when you type query here um contohnya software engineering eh? so so can you remember this uh this pull down menu they they suggested a few things lah like software engineer software developer uh software in malay so so i print screen this one eh? so when i key in this one they suggest this list down uh keyword suggestion based on my my profile here this is my profile so if i log out i log out lah um i just want to show you here uh, this is what's shown if my profile is on uh, but if i say i log out lah
I'm back, but I lost you a few minutes ago. Let me share again. Thank you. Okay. Go back to here. Mana sudah kita? Okay. Okay, nanti kita sambung with the demo lah yang tadi itu. Huh? So, um, so the point that I wanted to make just now is that um, given the information that you need, okay, okay, given the information that you need, we need to transform them into query. Okay, so. Um, The query that we are talking about is the is actually the keyword ataupun index term that we have stored in the system um, when we take the document. So when we want to retrieve the, the document, we will depends on how useful or relevant that document with respect to the query that we are typing here. So when we talk about the uh, actual problem that we're dealing in IR. Uh, let me erase this one first. Okay. So basically, we are dealing with um, a IR system that is able to retrieve all item, all item that is relevant to user query. Okay. And at the same time, we are trying to reduce the number of non-relevant item as much as possible. So um, if you compare with database, um, you compare with database, all of, all of you have taken database, can? Uh, we are using the SQL statement in order to retrieve the data. But either you get the data or none because they are based on the exact matching. But in information retrieval, uh, we will be using based on the notion of re relevance because we only talk about this document is 90% matching with the query or this document is only matching up to 75% of uh, what we have for that particular query. So we are looking at, uh, we are looking at the degree of relevance. Okay. We are not looking at the actual matching, but we are looking at the degree of relevancy. Okay. Okay. So um, the the user task. What what is our task? Okay. I consider a user six information on certain topic. Okay. So what they wanted to do is they want to translate their information into a search or query okay so it depends on what background you have if you do not know about much about that particular topic your keyword will be too general but if you have a lot of idea or you have read before then you can focus more into specific um, area of the topic that you are looking at okay so when we this is you, okay? So you key in the keyword here, and then they will respond to you by sending you the document, okay? Then you will browse the document, and then maybe you search again, ataupun you browse again, and the operation is more like, like this. So uh, you start searching, ataupun you start browse, so the document collection here will respond to you based on the query that you have and you will stop when you get the final answer or you satisfy with the document that you have. Okay. Uh, this is to uh, differentiate uh, between information retrieval versus data retrieval. So when we talk about data retrieval, we are talking about data that store in a database so in the database you want to have 
actual matching. Okay, so in your re relational database, we are looking at actual matching, but in um, data retrieval, we are focusing more on the keyword and we are looking at the um, relevancy at degree of relevance of that particular document based on the keyword that you key in. So that is the differences between data retrieval from database and data retrieval from the information uh, retrieval area. Okay. So this is the, the architecture of IR. Can you see this one? Ataupun too small. Boleh nampak? So um, before we will be able to do some query, of course, um, you have a database that store all the document. Okay? But before you can have this database, you should have a crawler. So a crawler is just a program that will, <coughs> that will crawl the web and then get all the document stored here with the index. Okay. And all the document will be indexed here. So, for example, like this, um, this one, two, three document will be indexed using this term. <coughs> okay. So, this is the crawling process. This is the indexing process. And this is you and me. We type in our query. We can expand the query. And then we can um retrieve the document and then we can perform the ranking here so this is what we call retrieval and ranking process okay so in this course kita can focus on this this only Okay. Do you have any <clears throat> question? Some okay. Okay, man. Okay, if you okay, can you type number three? Can you type number three? So how many respond to this number three? Okay, so you still there. Okay, so um, like I mentioned just now, we are looking at this one, this box only, yeah? retrieval and ranking process. So we will not go into crawling processes ataupun indexing process. So um, this is the process of indexing, retrieving and ranking. So this is your uh, user interface. Um, this is where you get the query. So you get the query, you transform the query, and then you expand or modify your query. Okay. So this is the document that you have. So based on the query that we have, we will provide the document here. Okay. So this one, based on the query that we have, we will have the document here. So once we have the document, then we should be able to perform the ranking. So uh, biasanya ranking ni, we used to compare the content of the document based on the query that we have here. Okay. So basically, we have 
the document retrieve. Okay. Retrieve. And then we need to perform the ranking. Okay. And this is your query. So the query will be matched with the document and you get the document retrieve and you perform the ranking based on the query. So that is our task for this course. Our task is uh, you type the query and then you will measure the distance between the query and the document and we will perform the ranking. Okay. So there are many methods on how to do perform this. So we will learn one by one. So this is the last uh, section, uh, the web. Um, the web has, I think, the greatest impact on our life um, because of the web, we have more unstructured data. Uh, for your, I think most of you know that um, in the whole collection of data, 90% of our data coming from unstructured data. So unstructured data meaning uh, that data that do not have a specific structure like newspaper, uh, web page, uh, Facebook, um, Instagram. They do not have a specific type of column in which you arrange the data. Uh, that's what we call um, unstructured data. So the web has um, provide biggest impact because anyone can create unstructured data anytime. Okay, from the blogs, from the email, from the web page. Um, so the first major impact is that most company need to perform the crawling. The crawling is just like a program. So um, what it will do, it will crawl the web. And then when they crawl the web, they also copy, make a copy of every page that they have landed. And then they will send to the server and they will get the address where they come from the title and the content so the crawler job is just to crawl over the internet and then harvest all those information uh, from from the starting url that you have given okay they will start with the starting url and then they will continue from there, uh, following all the hypertext link to the other pages. So if that page do not have any hypertext link, then it will stop there. Otherwise, it will continue until it reach the end of the uh, document. The second impact is that um, we have large volume of data every day. So we need to store them. Uh, we need to um, write a good retrieval system in order to retrieve them because we have a lot of data every day okay and based on the data that we have we could do the uh, prediction like um if you're looking at the the price of certain item ataupun um the number of covid 19 every day so if you will be able to harvest all this uh, positive case uh, based on the laporan from the website, we can predict. Okay? But now they have everything stored in one location, which is from the world meter uh, website. So you can easily predict the outcome. Okay, the fourth major income is uh, impact is that um, the search problem has been extended beyond the seeking of text information. So now you can look for the price of the book, the phone number of a hotel, the link for download software and so on. So depending on the keyword that you type, we can get those answer. Okay. And the fifth major impact of the web on search is the web spam. Uh, yeah, so if you visit looking for certain free item on the web, they will um, attack with uh, you with all the spam, web spam. 
test or suddenly your browser um, there are a lot of pop-up pop-up menu that you have to disable or close okay and some other issue like security privacy copyright and pattern right and also the OCR and cross language retrieval these are some of the issue that um, we are dealing with when we talk about IR like the privacy our WhatsApp our Facebook and so on okay so this is the map the map of your study for this course so today basically you have completed this one okay. and uh, like I mentioned just now we will not be covering indexing and searching uh, we will not be covering web crawling so we will cover all this yang di atas ni lah. so next week we will look at this one user interface for search okay and so on so on so we will cover another one two three four five six seven uh, some of the topic we will cover in two weeks lah. okay Okay, any question? What do you think about the cost? Easy, interesting? Based on the introduction of the cost, can you think that you can get a B?